Apexogenesis and Apexification Contents Introduction Treatment Modalities of Pulpal Pathology Apexogenesis Definition Rationale Goals Indications Contraindications Procedure Medicaments Apexification Definition Objectives Indications Contraindications Procedure Medicaments Difference between apexogenesis and apexification Conclusion Reference Introduction, Pulp The dental pulp is the part in the center of the tooth made up of living connective tissues and cells called odontoblasts. The dental pulp is a part of dental pulp complex, endodontium. The vitality of the dental pulp complex, both during healthy and after injury depends on pulp cell activity and the signaling process that regulates the cell's behavior. Functions Nutritive Sensory Protective Formative Treatment Modalities Pulp Treatment Modalities Vital Pulp Therapy 1. Protective Base 2. Indirect Pulp Capping 3. Direct Pulp Capping 4. Pulpotomy 5. Apexogenesis 6. Regeneration Non-vital pulp Therapy 1. Pulpectomy 2. Apexification 3. Root filling Young permanent teeth are those recently erupted teeth in which normal apical physiological root closure has not occurred. Normal physiological root closure of permanent teeth may take two to three year after eruption. Young permanent teeth are in developmental stage in children, from six years of age until mid-teens. Human tooth with immature apex, is a developing organ. The proliferation and differentiation of various cells are activated especially in the apical region of young tooth to make it complete. Apexogenesis Definition It is defined as the treatment of a vital pulp by capping or pulpotomy in order to permit continued growth of the root and closure of the open apex. Rationale Maintenance of integrity of the radicular pulp tissue to allow continued root growth. Root end development occurs in a tooth with a normal pulp and minimal inflammation. Pulp of immature teeth has significant reparative potential. Pulp revascularization and repair occurs more efficiently in tooth with an open apex. Poor long-term prognosis of an endodontically treated immature teeth. Relatively thin dentin in obturated canals of immature roots and open apex are prone to fracture. Goals of Apexogenesis 1. Sustaining a viable Hertwig's sheath to allow continued development of root length for a favorable crown, root ratio. 2. Maintaining pulp vitality to help maturation of root. 3. Promoting root end closure to create a natural apical constriction. 4. Generating a dentinal bridge at the site of pupotomy. A sign that the pulp has maintained its vitality. Indications 1. Indicated for traumatized or pulpally involved vital permanent tooth when root apex is incompletely formed. 2. No history of spontaneous pain. 3. No sensitivity on percussion. 4. No hemorrhage. 5. Normal radiographic appearance. 6. 
Traumatic luxation. Contraindications. 1. Evidence that radicular pulp has undergone degenerative changes. 2. Tooth with unfavorable horizontal root fracture i.e. close to gingival margin. 3. Purulent drainage. 4. History of prolonged pain. 5. Necrotic debris in canal. 6. Periapical radiolucency. Procedure. Remove all of carious tooth structure and open up the pulp chamber. Remove coronal pulp with excavators, care is taken to prevent damage to radicular pulp. Rinse all the residual debris and control hemorrhage by placement of a moist cotton pellet over the amputated pulp. Calcium hydroxide mixture is placed over the pulp stumps, followed by temporary restoration. Follow-up radiographs are taken periodically to check the root development. Once the root development is complete, the conventional root canal treatment is done. Figures A B C Apexogenesis, a trampic injury to young permanent teeth. B. Calcium hydroxide apexogenesis done. C. Continued root growth with maintenance of vitality. Medicament. Calcium hydroxide. Formocresol. Glutaraldehyde. MTA, mineral trioxide aggregate. Zinc oxide eugenol paste. Iodoform paste. Apexification. Definition, it is defined as a method to induce development of the root apex of an immature pulpless tooth by formation of osteosmentum slash bone-like tissue. Cohen Objectives To induce either closure of open apical third of root canal or the formation of an apical calcific barrier against which obturation can be achieved. Indications For young Immature, non-vital permanent tooth with open apex. Why apexification preferred over RCT? Open apex. Blunderbuss canals. Thin and fragile canal walls. Absolute dryness of canal difficult to achieve. Contraindications. Very short roots. Vital pulp. Compromised periodontium Materials used Zinc oxide eugenol Metacarisylacetate campaherated perachlorophenol Tricalcium phosphate plus SS tricalcium phosphate MTA, mineral trioxide aggregate Collagen calcium phosphate gel Calcium hydroxide Procedure Single Visit Preoperative assessment includes clinical evaluation of color, mobility, tenderness, and swelling. Periapical radiograph should be evaluated. When acute signs and symptoms are absent, instrumentation is recommended. Application of rubber dam following local anesthesia. Access is gained in the pulp chamber. Barbed brooch is used to remove debris and necrotic pulp tissue along the canal. Irrigation is performed with saline. Working length is determined. Circumferential enlargement done by the file and irrigation is done with saline to remove infected dentin from the canal walls. Canal dried with paper points. Calcium hydroxide is used to fill 2 mm short of the radiographic apex. Remaining of the canal filled with calcium hydroxide and saline. Barium sulfate added to radio opacity. Dry pledged of calcium hydroxide is then ejected into the pulp chamber and forced against the paste ahead of it. Place temporary restoration. Second visit. This is after 624 months. Tooth is re-entered and apexification is verified. It is complete when RCT is done.
Figures A B C A immature tooth with periradicular disease B working length measured C the canal is filled with calcium hydroxide Figures 35 A B C A apexification pretreatment showing open apex B apexification, 3 months follow up C apexification, 9 months follow up Follow, up Apical development is monitored by comparison of preoperative and postoperative radiograph. 1. Formation of calcific bridge. 2. Continued apical development. 3. Absence of internal resorption or periapical radiolucency. Use of calcium hydroxide. 1. Alkaline pH. 2. Bactericidal 3. Stimulate apical calcification Reaction of periapical tissue to calcium hydroxide is similar to that of pulp tissue. Calcium hydroxide produces a multilayered sterile necrosis permitting subsequent mineralization. Serious Disadvantages Long treatment period usually takes 6-9 months and may extend up to 21 months. Must be replaced at monthly intervals and removed some months after placement before final obturation. Multiple visits by the patient. Possible recontamination may occur. Weaken the root dentin and the risk of teeth fracture. MTA as choice of material for apexification. Saves treatment time. Can induce formation, regeneration, of dentin, bone, cementum and periodontal ligament. Excellent biocompatibility and appropriate mechanical properties. Excellent sealing ability. Produces an artificial barrier, against which an obturating material can be condensed. Hardens, sets, in the presence of moisture. More radiopaque than calcium hydroxide. Vasoconstrictive. Composition. Tricalcium aluminate. Tricalcium silicate. Silicate oxide. Tricalcium oxide. Bismuth oxide. Types. Gray MTA. Contains tricalcium aluminophorate ferrous oxide, which is responsible for gray disc coloration. So it causes discoloration of teeth. Therefore, it is not used for anterior teeth. Large particles. Longer setting time. Greater compressive strength. White MTA. Ferrous oxide is replaced by magnesium oxide. So no tooth discoloration. Small particle with narrower size distribution. Shorter setting time. Less compressive strength. Properties. Biocompatible. Sealing ability better than amalgam or zoe. Initial pH 10.2 and set pH 12.5. Setting time 4 hours. Compressive strength 70 MPa. Low cytotoxicity, it presents with minimal inflammation of extended beyond the apex. Comparative assessment of apexification using MTA and calcium hydroxide. MTA procedure. Calcium hydroxide therapy done. After one or two weeks of calcium hydroxide therapy. MTA powder is mixed with distilled water and carried into canal with amalgam carrier. Tapped in place with paper point or plugger at apical 3 to 4 mm. Apical barrier formation verified with radiograph. Wet cotton placed over the chamber and access cavity is sealed with reinforced ZOE. After two days hardening of MTA is checked. Remaining canal is obturated with gutta percha or bonded resin. 
Recall after 3 to 6 months. Cassium Hydroxide Procedure First Visit Cassium Hydroxide Powder is used to fill 2 mm short of radiographic apex. Remaining canal is filled with calcium hydroxide and saline. BASO4 is added for radio opacity. A dry pledget of calcium hydroxide is then ejected into the pulp chamber and forced against the paste ahead of it. Place temporary restoration. Second visit. After 6 to 24 months. Tooth is re-entered and apexification is verified. If complete, RCT is done. Difference between apexogenesis and apexification. Apexogenesis apexification. It is defined as the treatment of a vital pulp by capping or pulpotomy in order to permit continued growth of the root and closure of the open apex. It is physiological process of redevelopment in vital infected tooth. Normal or pulp tissue with minimal inflammation is present. 1. Completely, direct pulp capping. 2. In the radicular portion, pulpotomy. Normal root end development takes place. It is defined as a method to induce development of the root apex of an immature pulpless tooth by formation of osteosmentum slash bone-like tissue. It is the method of inducing the regenerative potential in a non-vital tooth. Indicated in cases where there is no normal pulp tissue i.e., where the pulp has undergone irreversible pulpal necrosis. Normal root development takes place rarely. Calcific barrier is formed clinically, on a radiograph or both. Conclusion Apexogenesis and apexification are two variants of procedures performed. It is very important to use appropriate procedure at appropriate age in presenting conditions. Ideal material suitable for the condition of the pulp should be selected and used. Proper care should be taken following these procedures. Reference Textbook of Pediatric Dentistry, 3rd edition, by Nikhil Merwa Textbook of Pedodontics, 2nd edition, by Chopin Tandon Internet Sources